Hello. I don't know her. <laughs> She's got a tree. I'm a tree. See? I'm a tree. She's ridiculous. <laughs> it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hello, guys. I gotta take this off while I talk because I can't see. Um, so this is just gonna be a short video. We're in Kingsport, and I just want to take a minute and say, "Good job, Kingsport," because mm. we're downtown, and it's so pretty. Where they've got like trees, and I'm gonna show you. So, hold on just a second. So we're at Glen Bruce Park. That's hard to say. Between the library and I think a bank is behind us, but they've got trees that different companies and organizations have come down and sponsored and decorated for Christmas and we've got the ever famous downtown Kingsport tornado trees is what I've always called them because they just wrap the string of lights around them like little tornadoes yeah, they're pretty ridiculous I love them I do it's part of Christmas in Kingsport but some of these trees are really pretty guys and there's a lot like it's a whole whole courtyard full of them so and then there's a new mexican restaurant down <laughs> down the side like down the street from us and they're playing all kinds of music really loud so try not to get a copyright for that so josh loves my my christmas jacket i hate it <laughs> so bad he picked it out for I me i did not pick it out <laughs> It's fabulous. I wore it to work uh, Monday and everybody loved it. My patients all loved it. Um, so I've had fun with this jacket, but let me show you all the center right. So this is a fountain that's normally running during warmer months, but they've got a little light tree and some lit up presents. And then it's just so nice out here. And I think on certain nights they do snope. I think it was canceled last night because of rain. It's rained all week here. There's a gnome tree. They made like a little Santa gnome. So it's really, really cute out here. I love it. I'm glad they did this. Because Kingsport, we never get anything like this in Kingsport. So it's really nice. I know Johnson City has done it for a few years. Um, but I think this is the first year Kingsport has done it. And it's so nice. Oh, here's the fire department. Really cute. Oh, it's got pictures of all the firefighters in front of it and then it's got flags and all kinds of stuff. I'm shivering because it's kind of chilly right now. Yeah. And this is Sullivan County EMS. Very bag. It's probably expired to be honest. <laughs> I got some gloves. Very nice. Good job, EMS. You use what you got. That's the way you used expired medical goods. <laughs> this one's fun. Hampton Inn. Oh, Hampton Inn. It's got all kinds of different states, New York, California. Oh, like a little a travel to tree. Yep. Sorry, I almost tripped. That would have been scary. <laughs> He's so mean to me tonight. There was a dog over here a minute ago, and I told her she's going to get peed on because she's a tree. Yeah, <laughs> there was a little family out here that had a little dog, and he's like, you better watch out, you're going to get peed on. I was like, what? He's like, you're a tree. Dogs pee on trees. <laughs> I was like, you're not funny. <laughs> Aw, this poor little tree. But they did so good with it. It's cute. 
Some of these places I've never even heard of. Had no idea we had these places. Bays Mountain. Oh yeah, they went fancy. Oh, that may be my favorite tree. It's got the dried oranges. They went all natural. Well. And cranberries, and I don't know what the fluffy stuff is, but it's pretty. Oh, what's that? Grass you see by the pond? That I want in our yards. Yeah. In our yard. Yeah, I like Bates Mountain's tree the best so far. That's pretty. Oh, you get to hear the church bells. Tennessee tree. It is a Tennessee tree, of course. My Burdine Girls. This is Kingsport Tree. They cut out a bunch of like hard hats with their names on it. Aww. Oh, look. Like how everybody does like those tree um collars they done garden hose yeah. very very creative guys very creative golly it's cold sorry if i'm shaking it's freezing be nice if they had like a little like a food cart out here to get like hot chocolate and popcorn and mm -hmm. stuff like that which they might whenever they do like the Snope stuff. They probably have like food trucks and stuff. So, so this one is a done by Bobby Phillips. We don't know who that is or what company, if there is a company, but it's, it's fun. With the little hair poof on top. So we just walked by a couple and they said that you can vote for these. I noticed that there was a QR code on the little signs in front of them. Apparently you scan that QR code and you vote for them that way. And this is the Farm Expo tree. So they have a little QR code down here and we're going to scan it and vote for Bay's Mountains tree because we both like this one a lot. It's our favorite. So we have finished at Glen Bruce Park. We voted for Bays Mountain on almost everything um, mm -hmm. there. And then there's another park downtown called Centennial Park. Um, it's got like a fountain slash splash pad. You know, everybody brings their kids and uses it as a splash pad, which the city doesn't care. They, they like it, but we're going there next to see the other trees. And Josh just told me that they're it's putting in a 50s themed billiards room down here called shooters called shooters and let me tell you something you know who's gonna go <laughs> i love to play pool I'm not very good at it i used to be once upon a time but not anymore but you better believe i'm gonna be down there and playing so and we'll have to dress all 50s we have to be legit. So, we're now headed down Broad Street to Centennial Park, and we'll show you all that. So, they've got this area, like, really decorated and so super cute with the little gingerbread peoples and the popcorn garland, and oh, it's so cute. And then this big lit ornament, and it is raining now. Like, not real bad, but it's raining. So, we're gonna walk around and see these trees. I love my shadow. <laughs> I think this popcorn one may be my favorite tree topper for sure. So cute. Sorry, I had to let that truck pass. But it's Cornucopia Gourmet Popcorn Company. I always forget that we have one of those. But they may be my favorite and most creative.
this one's really pretty too. Who is this one? Visit Kingsport. Oh, visit Kingsport. Gotta say, Kingsport's moving on up, finally. It's the biggest downtown between Kingsport, Johnson City, and Bristol. Like, it's the biggest with the most remaining original buildings. But we have nothing. It's just now starting to, like, grow. And being out here tonight and seeing actual people and families and couples walking around and enjoying this... It's pretty nice. You don't see that in Kingsport. <laughs> Bombshell Salon. It's got a pretty kind of creepy but cool tree topper. Uh, ballad helps. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, what is this one? Magnolia soap. It looks like they got little soap bottles. Laundry detergent is the top. Uh, laundry detergent. They're kind of like Buff City soap, I guess. Yeah, and there's some dentist. Oh yeah, the little dentist company has little teeth. H&G, there you go. Yeah. Their lights aren't working though. This one's very traditional. Let's see, what else do we have? Yes, the Rotary Club. It's got a dove on top. Disco ball on top. I know. They've got a spinning disco ball and lots of sparkles. And a disco ball. You guys know I love my sparkles. Sparkly trees are the best. Very traditional red and green. Burke LT. I don't know what they do, but I think it would be something TV related. Very creative. Ornaments are TVs too. I know. They look like they're 3D printed. Yeah, those are definitely 3D printed. And this here, I have to look them up. And then you got the billiards. Oh, that's the new one that's coming, Shooters Billiards. And of course the eight balls, the topper. Very creative. This is going to be a hard one, as far as tree toppers, and most creative. Oh, they went for all red. Oh, Red Door Agency. Makes sense. Houses, and it's all red. Oh, that one's got a house too. Century 21. house. So here's Kubota of Kingsport. Got that Kubota orange and black and a Kubota tractor on top. And then Kingsport Fun Fest. They've got Mardi Gras beads. They've got Festus. They've got things in there that look like fireworks. And they've got a hot air balloon as the topper. More uh, balloon. Oh, more Balloon style ornaments. Yeah. These ornaments that kind of look like the balloons. Um, you know, between this one and the gourmet popcorn place, this one I think may be the most creative. They did good. I love this one. Even these little flashy star looking lights are like fireworks. I don't like those a lot too. I ain't seen them on any of the others. No. They did a good job. Everything about this makes sense if you've came to FunFest. Like it all makes sense. This is definitely FunFest. 
see the little fireworks here. Yeah. This one may be my favorite. Very cute. And then you've got State Farm tree. Wow. Which one's been your favorite so far? Out of here? Uh huh. Ooh, I'm going to say either the Sunfest one or there's one over here by the popcorn tree that I really like, the red and white one. Oh, yeah. I can't remember who that was. Huh. This is nice. I'll have to find out when they do the snope. If I can find a link for all of this, I'll put it down below. So you guys can check it out and if you're kind of local or you are local, you can come down here and walk around. It's very peaceful. Oh, I think I missed this one. Somehow. This one has little Santa hats. It's got like very homemade ornament feel. This looks like Mr. Hanky from South Park. I hate to tell you. Uh, why do we go there? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Mr. Hanky, which is good. I like Mr. Hanky. Oh, it's got little kid oh names my God. on there. It is Mr. Hanky because he has eyes. Oh, Joshua. It's Mr. Hanky. He's the Christmas tree. A cookie. little kid made that. And, and he did a great job. And he knows a great character. It's the Kingsport Family YMCA. So, it looks like they had all the little kids make some ornaments for their tree, which is very, very cute. I'm not even kidding. Like, I love that it's a Mr. Hanky. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Ah. Uh, him and South Park. He is a beloved Christmas character. <laughs> South Park gets on my nerves. I love South Park. <laughs> oh, it was Visit Kingsport. Yeah, that's the one. So you like Visit Kingsport. Gosh, it's going to be hard between Fun Fest and Cornucopia Gourmet Popcorn. Mm, vote one for one and one for the other. I think I'm going to go with Most Creative Tree Topper Cornucopia. Yeah. But Best Overall Tree, I'm going to say... Fun fest. There you go. That's what I'm thinking. So, oh, I didn't even see this tree topper. What's, th oh, that's the Tri Pride one. It's very, very pretty. What's that one with? I don't know what's on that tree. I'm going to have to go over there and look because I don't know what that is. <laughs> it looks like a shirt. I don't know. I hope those breadsticks are making me hungry. <laughs> I smell those cheese sticks. This pizza place right there. That's Main Street. Yeah, Main Street Pizza Company. The best breadsticks, cheese yeah. sticks. And the smell coming out of that building right now is amazing. So let me see what this tree was. Because I don't think we went up through here. Got, there's a baby doll up top. Oakwell Animal Hospital. Okay. So there's like little play syringes and stethoscope, mask. And then I guess she's supposed to be a little vet tech with her puppy dog. That's cute. Very cute. And they used like leashes as garland. That's pretty cute. Good job. <laughs> Alright. So I guess we're going to vote for our favorite trees now. Right? Yep. Alright. We left Kingsport with nothing else to do. So we came to Jonesboro. <laughs> yeah. So Josh could take pictures of their downtown. Christmas lights everywhere. All over the place. Behind me. Candy cane trees. Big tree. It's 
everywhere. They're all over the place. Yeah. Like this what actually an airport would look like? Yeah, if somebody would just do it. You mean a forklift? <laughs> he wouldn't even do it with a forklift. He'd be too scared. Yeah, a whole thing or something. <laughs> He'd still be too scared, guys. I don't like heights. <laughs> I don't like heights either. But it's pretty nice down here. It's kind of rained, so there's the ground is kind of wet, so it's got like the reflections, which is why Josh is taking pictures. Oh, look, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. It's a fun look, I'm the Christmas tree in the gift box. <laughs> he loves me. He really loves me. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Who knows what we'll do after this, because we literally have nothing else to do tonight. So... This is it. This is what we're doing. <laughs> this way is so pretty. So pretty. Big tree. So our tree in the front yard, I don't know if it's as tall as that one or not. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, but ours isn't as shaped as that one because we've never cut it. We've never had it trimmed, I guess I should say. So, ours is kind of bushy. <laughs> Santa's sleigh is across the road. I really want to go get in it, but I don't think I'm supposed to, so I'm not going to. But I really want to. Really, really bad. Josh, what would you do if I did that? What? Run across the road and gotten Santa's sleigh. Get in it. Huh? Go get in it. I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm not going to, but I really want to. He's taking a picture of the antique stores. Well, I'm taking the whole street. Oh, the whole street. Well, he said something about the antique stores yeah, I've window. Got the oh. Very, very cute. Don't know if you guys can hear me because there's a huge train going by behind us and I think it's finally stopping but we wanted to show off the lollipop shop. They have Mickey and some nutcrackers and snowflakes and if you guys ever come to Jonesboro you need to go in there because they have all the good stuff. We love it. Josh loves it. <laughs> he really loves the candy shop. This house right here is so pretty. I think somebody actually lives in there. But that would be so cool. I would love to see pictures of the inside of that house. It'd be neat. Yeah, I think somebody actually does live in there. I think I see TV. And for those that don't know, Jonesboro is actually Tennessee's oldest town. Yes, it is our oldest town here in Tennessee. So um, it's really pretty. If you ever come this way, it's definitely worth a stop. Um, and everybody here that we've ever met in the shops and on the streets, they've always been like extremely nice. So um, it's worth a stop for sure. It's very little, but very pretty at all times of the year. And they have the national, what is it? National Storytelling That's Festival. Cool. I've never been to it. Josh has been to I've it. I've been to it with mom a few times. It's really good. Yeah. And they have like a big uh, national storytelling, I guess, center? Yep. Is it, that right? Or right. is it a museum also? Yep. It's kind of a little area. Okay. So, um, that's worth a stop. And then they have a hotel or an inn, I guess is what it was called. Who stayed there? Oh, I don't Andrew know Jackson? They got Andrew Jackson's boy bo boyhood home down here. Oh, Andrew Jackson's boyhood home is here. Um, and then they have an inn. I can't remember which president stayed in it, but it's here and it's a museum. Um, so they've got a lot of cute, pretty stuff, historical stuff. Um, this store, Noel's, one of my favorite stores, of course. <laughs> 
some nice stuff in there so but it's just a real pretty little town it reminds me a lot of um, Lynchburg I guess in some ways so but very pretty very busy <laughs> so I seen a mom and a little girl come down here and I realized she was dropping off her letter to Santa <laughs> But yeah, she came to drop off her letter to Santa. She was, she wanted to see my jacket. <laughs> I'm still wearing my tree jacket. But if you need to drop off your letters, here we are. Right here. That's why Santa Slay is here. He's here to pick up all his mail. So, you gotta come down here and drop off your letters. Josh says hi. <laughs> This tree is huge. I feel like ours isn't that big. I don't think it's tall, but ours is definitely way wider. Yeah, ours is definitely way wider. Ours is probably 15 or 20 feet shorter. Yeah. Hey, I want to say that it's like 100 feet and ours is like 80. I would love to know how actual tall this is. So, I mean, it's taller than the courthouse. Is this the courthouse? Yeah, the courthouse. So, it is tall, for sure. The little girl was cute. She says she, that the mom said that I could come down here and stand in front of this big tree and the little girl said, yeah, I could stand beside her. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'd love to, but they went on, so. <laughs> Very cute. That is the National Storytelling Center. Right here. They do almost like a full-on like fall festival for the storytelling thing. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm sorry because I've never been to it. So I don't know what happens. They bring in a lot of people like tell stories when they're the tents, they do ghost stories, they do oh. history, all kinds of stuff. It's it's fun. Oh. Tons of vendors oh. fill the streets. and. Okay. Well, maybe if you guys are interested in seeing that, leave us a comment below. And it might be something that we come and film next year. You know? And this is the inn. Right? This is the inn. I think this is the one that was on Ghost Adventures. Too. Yeah. So, I bet it's pretty creepy. It was for sale last time we were here. I wonder if it ever sold. Mm -hmm. And how do you buy a museum? Like, do you just buy it and take over being the curator? And There's one light on it. Oh, spooky. It I hope it goes off. <laughs> it's so pretty. Very peaceful whenever there's no cars. Very, very peaceful. There's been a cop car that's rode down through here a few times. I wonder what he thinks of me standing out here in my tree jacket. <laughs> what you doing? Um, ingenuity at its best. I'm lighting the other side of that wreath. Sometimes. So there's lanterns in the middle of these. It was in the way of framing up the Jackson. I'm going to put it back. Yes, we're going to put it back. It was just on a little hook. See, I got my shot. I'm happy. I'm kind of sad that they're not lit. They're solar powered, so. I don't look. I'm putting it back. Maybe. There we go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then he takes out the post that it's on. It's this okay. This tripod costs way more than that post. <laughs> Until the city sends you a bill. Yeah, then I get the two maintenance workers. <laughs> then you get a labor bill. <laughs> so what are they going to have here? It's 
the Jonesboro Repertory Theater. One golden pawn. Ooh, a Christmas carol. JRT Christmas Cabaret. I can't think of how to say that word. It's a cabaret? School of Rock. And the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. And they're renovating that one too. I want that house across the road there. Yeah, that house is gorgeous. Beautiful. Smells like kerosene. Oh, yeah. This one's for sale. The Eureka Inn. I wonder how much they want for that. Mm. Do you want to run an inn? No. A, his a historic inn. How do you know it has foundation issues? Because all the windows slant. Well, it's old. That's from the foundation time. Our house windows slant. I know. We have foundation <laughs> I would love it, actually. That'd be cool. I wonder what that big building is across the road. Probably another one. steps like it does. People must live in it, actually. Are you crossing? Yeah, here's a second. Okay, well then I'm going to go ahead and cross that. Do, 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 do. If y'all wonder what we do when we have nothing else to do, mm -hmm. this is what we do. Josh takes pictures and I just follow him around and hold things when he wants me to hold them. I swear I thought I'd just seen somebody in that door. At the top. Creepy. Very creepy. I think this one is apartments. Or a house. Yeah, I think so. Down which way? Back toward the car. Back to the car. Okay. But look at this house. The house is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I'd have me all kinds of trees in that sunroom. So pretty. Back to the car we go. Towards it, anyway. Oh, towards the car. <laughs> Ooh, it's another historic marker. What's it say? Abolition. First abolition publications. Oh. You all can pause it if you want to read it. So Josh was right, but it was originally moved from another location and then Andrew Jackson lived in it. It wasn't his childhood home. He lived in it while he was practicing law here in Jonesboro. So um, that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So. And then there's another inn right here. This one might be the one that the president stayed in. I can't remember. We really need to look that up. And then they just, they've been renovating this building and turning it into a theater, obviously. But this is the first time we've seen the neon. And it looks really good. So busy here. Look, look at this. He just leaves me all the time. He just leaves me. He doesn't care. He just leaves me. Doesn't say, hey, I'm gonna go over here. He just leaves. I was just seen this, and I think we went over this our last video here in Jonesboro. Um, 
and I just can't remember because I'm not good at remembering stuff like this, but the Chester Inn is the one that the president stayed in. It says Andrew Jackson, James Polk, Andrew Johnson, and John Severe have all stayed in this inn, um, but it's been continuously occupied since 1797. So, um, and Andrew Jackson held a reception for his friends on the porch of the inn. So, look, I'm finally getting my shot. <laughs> oh, he's finally getting his road shot. Yeah, he's so it. happy. But the museum, I can't remember why we were here. But we did go in the museum downstairs. I've never been in the other floors or the um, expansion area back there. So we really need to do that at one point. I turn around and get that shot and then the guard. Every time. <laughs> and if you're ever down here and you're looking for food, this Main Street Cafe and Catering. Oh, it's so good. Amazing. So, so good. Josh was trying to get the shot down the road here, and then here comes this one single little car, very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> when we got here, Josh had to go pee. And they had public bathrooms back at the public parking area. Last time I went in there and it was nighttime, like the lights, they have the sensor, um, like motion sensor. So I was in there peeing. And the light turns off and it's like dark outside so it's extremely dark in there and I'm like trying to pee and you know do my business and get out of there real quick. So we got here and Josh has to go pee and I, he told me to stand outside with all his stuff and I'm like oh great I'm going to get robbed while you go pee. And I said I hope that whenever I get robbed you're in that bathroom and the light turns out and then you feel a little tap on your shoulder. <laughs> he said that he was so creeped out he like tried to hurry up and get out of there because <laughs> he was afraid of, you know, I was going to get robbed and then they were going to come after him and get him while he's got his pants down. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, TMI. Life with the Moors. Isn't it fun? <laughs> We are now at Founders Park in Johnson City. Yep. Where the tree thing started. This one is First Covenant Trust Advisors and it's all Monopoly themed. It's really cool. Yeah. So they have an Andy Griffiths show rerun Watchers Club here in Johnson City apparently. And they have a tree. This one is a Gate Women's Services and I love an all white tree. So this is the Make-A-Wish of Tennessee tree. It's got the name of the kids on some of the ornaments. This one is Studio Dance of Johnson City. Josh found it like as we was walking up to it. It's nice and pretty and light pink. Now we know why. It's ballet. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm home. Jody's home. She's downstairs resting, doing her laundry and stuff. And one of our files got corrupted at the end of the video where we just said, you know, thanks for watching and all that good stuff. And we were ending it in Johnson City at the park there. And we had a few more trees to show off, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, you know, uh, we a nice little tour of the Tri-City, some of the Christmas stuff going on. Uh, we had a lot of fun. It was great to come out and just enjoy the evening, walk around, see some lights, take some photos, and just enjoy what our towns have to offer around here. Um, yeah, help us out. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next week with a new video, and we'll see you later, guys. Bye.